Hugges Communications India, a joint venture company of United States based Hugges Network System and Indian Telecom operator Bharti Airtel launched the first high throughput satellite broadband internet services in India which is powered by ISRO satellites. This service would provide satellite internet to remote parts of India by using ISRO's GSAT-11 and GSAT-29 satellites. ISRO launched the GSAT-11 and GSAT-29 in 2018 to provide high bandwidth satellite connectivity to Indian clients in the space enterprise. The GSAT-11 is capable of providing up to 14 gigabytes per second through satellite network. The newly launched HTS Broadband Services aims to provide high-speed broadband in regions that are inaccessible for terrestrial networks. For the past one year, this high-speed internet service was tested in several regions such as Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh, which lack terrestrial connectivity because of challenges posed by terrains. The newly launched satellite internet service is capable of providing internet connectivity bandwidth of up to 100 Mbps, about 2 GB per day. It supports services such as Wi-Fi hotspots for community internet access, backhaul to extend mobile network reach, and satellite internet for small businesses. The application of this satellite connectivity is currently limited to fringe markets such as remote locations. India currently does not have the market for very high bandwidth satellite internet in such regions and high bandwidth internet are already served by terrestrial network in other places that are having high demands for internet services. The Hugges HTS service already has clients like Reliance and Geo State Bank of India and others. Geo utilizes Hugges services for 4G backhaul to provide services to remote locations for its terrestrial telecom networks. SBI uses this satellite internet service for providing connectivity to remote bank branch as automated teller machine outlet. So let's see what is a satellite internet. Satellite internet is wireless internet beamed down from satellites orbiting the earth. It's a lot different from land-based internet services like cable, which transmit data through wires. Since it's the only internet service that's available nationwide, satellite internet is a reliable way to get online for many rural homes and businesses. How does satellite network works? Satellite network works by using radio waves to communicate with satellites orbiting the earth. Data is sent and received through a communication network that starts with your device and travels through your modem and satellite dish out to a satellite in space then back to earth to ground stations known as network operation centers and then data travels back through this network out to space and then back to your satellite dish on earth to deliver data on your mobile device. What is high throughput satellite? The high throughput satellite HTS is a communication satellite that provides more throughput. Throughput is a measure of how many units of information a system can possess in a given amount of time than conventional communication satellites. Higher throughput refers to higher data processing and transfer capability than conventional satellites. How it is beneficial? The high throughput satellite services will extend broadband connectivity to the remotest locations difficult to reach otherwise and create economic opportunities to boost the local economy. It will also support the high bandwidth requirements of government organizations, business houses, cellular operators, mining and energy companies, etc. The company is assisting the Indian Army and paramilitary forces patrolling at LAC and other remote border outputs with the help of high-throughput satellite technology. The Huggis and ISRO's collaboration aims to provide and deliver excellent quality satellite broadband services. The major customers of high throughput services are cooperative banks, telecommunication, 4G operators, and small and medium enterprises. Now let's see about the GSAT-11. India's next generation high throughput communication satellite GSAT-11 was successfully launched on December 5, 2018 from Kourour Launch Base, French Guiana by Arian 5VA246. Weighing about 5,854 kgs, GSAT-11 is the heaviest satellite built by ISRO. GSAT-11 is the forerunner in the series of advanced communication satellites with multi-spot beam antenna coverage over Indian mainland and islands. GSAT-11 will also play a vital role in providing broadband services across the country. It will also provide a platform 
to demonstrate new generation applications. GSAT 11 was launched into a geosynchronous transfer orbit and subsequently ISRO's master control facility at Hassan taken over the control of GSAT 11 to perform the initial orbiting raising maneuver using a liquid apogee motor of the satellite for placing it in circular geostationary orbit. That's all today's session. See you soon.